Hey guys, it's Miss Alexis from IB Charter, and today I'm going to be doing a video on a STEM lesson that's based on geometric shapes. So for this lesson, I'm going to be using marshmallows and toothpicks, and I'll also be drawing out the different geometric shapes that I chose to show you guys. And at the end of this video, I'm also going to show you how I implemented the 5E model. For this video, I'm going to be showing you guys geometric shapes, and as you can see, I'm drawing out two-dimensional shapes, which include all of these and many, many more. So now I'm going to talk to you guys about two different concepts in geometry. Sides. The first one being sides, which you is pretty self-explanatory. So you can count the sides like I am in the square, and I counted four. So now we're gonna move on to vertices, or also vertex. Vertices are essentially the corners, so you count the corners as well. And for the square, I also counted four. And you can keep doing this with all the different shapes. So now that I found all my sides and vertices to my two-dimensional shapes, I created some of the shapes with marshmallows and toothpicks. So I figured this would be a lot more fun to do instead of just counting them and you also have a better time understanding the concept of sides and vertices if you find them a little more difficult and you don't have to do the shapes that i did but i found these to be the easiest ones to do so even though i used marshmallows and toothpicks for this video you don't necessarily have to if you don't have any you can use candy you can use pretzels you can use whatever will help stick now we can move on to the 5E e STEM model with the five steps being engage, explore, explain, and elaborate. For the first step, engage, students make a connection to prior knowledge. So if you already have a concept of understanding of geometric shapes, great, this might be a little bit easier for you. The second step being explore, students build on prior knowledge through the activity. The next step being explain. Students can explain the concepts that were taught. So if you didn't know what sides and vertices were before, now you do. For elaborate, students understand definitions, problem solving, and independent learning skills. So this is a great way for you to learn about different geometric concepts on your own. And finally, for evaluate, students reflect on knowledge and learning processes. So I hope you enjoyed this video and also know that you don't have to limit yourself to two-dimensional shapes, you can also do three-dimensional shapes, like this cube. Anyway, that's all I got. Bye!